So today we're out here just taking a short video, uh, emphasizing the importance of getting out and checking your residue spread. Um, we're currently in a field that has some uh, less than desirable residue management. And we just wanted to point out uh, what that may look like in, in this double crop, no-till double crop bean situation here. Um, you can see to my, to my left, the, the stand um, it is pretty poor and there's a lot of gaps in between. And then if we get down even closer, we can see there's, there's physically multiple inches of residue here. Um, and we got V2, early V3 beans in between you know and there's gaps in between yeah. and it's not very far over if we take a walk and look at the physical size difference in the beans um we got we got four fully developed trifoliates on these beans and then and then peeling back you can see there's there's no residue on the ground um and this is important moving into next year this is not this is going to affect our our corn stand this particular field is no-till, so that's going to be a big deal. So it's it's not just for the bean stand. These beans will recover and probably be fine, but you just got to look into the future. So we just wanted to talk about why it's important to make sure your, your spreader is set properly.